object similar to Earth has been discovered orbiting a star so close to our solar system that astronomers may one day be able to study its atmosphere. They have worked out that the planet could be made up of as much as 75% water. Let's find out a bit more about this. Cross to our Washington studio, our correspondent Priya Sweet is there. Hi there, Priya. How excited should we all be then about this discovery of an Earth-like, as the scientists are saying, planet? Hey, Kevin. Well, scientists are saying that there's a chance that this planet could be inhabitable. So does this mean that we're one step closer to finding a refuge if those Mayan prophecies come true and the world ends in 2012? Well, joining me to help talk about it is space expert Jeffrey Manber. Jeffrey, thanks so much for sure. joining me. So first of all, tell me, why do you think we should be so excited about this discovery? Because we have a place to go when the world comes to an end. <laughs> That's why. This is really an exciting discovery because the planet is close. It's 40 light years away. It, it's not that hot, 400 degrees, and it's water. It has, seems to have an atmosphere. And for all those reasons, this is really exciting. This is a low-budget project. It's called MIRTH, M-EARTH. And it's not something being done by NASA. It's not a multi-billion dollar project. And in just a short period of time, using small telescopes, they've discovered already this planet that looks like it could support some sort of life. So that's really exciting. So do you think that this planet could be inhabitable? Yes. I mean, by inhabitable, it could have some sort of life forms. And certainly it tells us that mathematically, statistically, how can one argue where, that life forms are unique on this planet? To discover a planet that's, that's just 40 light years away that has an atmosphere, that has some sort of water and, and has the, all the right things that make it look like it can support life, I think it's going to be a very exciting next few decades for this sort of looking for uh, life forms on other planets. And so tell me a little bit more about this planet. You mentioned that it's around 400 or some reports said around 500 degrees Fahrenheit, but it also says that there were oceans of water. You know, yes. here on Earth, if there, yeah. if there was oceans of water and it was 500 degrees, that right. doesn't really make a lot of sense. So how is right. that happening? Well, it's, it's the difference in gravity. It's two times the size of, of our planet. Uh, and and uh, maybe I got wrong the, the conversion and the centigrade. But, but what's clear is that it's just about all water. Its molten core seems to be iron, which is much like ours. And the first reports of the data, which they, can, they say they can sniff out the atmosphere, is that it has, it has an atmosphere. And so even at that temperature, different gravity, you, you don't get, boil, it's not a big T, you know, uh, it's, it's not like uh, Venus. And so it seems to simply be a planet with water. And so they, one has to believe that you can, it can support some sort of in life form that uh, we would recognize as a life form. Organic. So some sort of life form, but maybe not us humans going up there? No, I, I don't think. And a 40 light years away, it's still far away. But in terms of the solar system, in terms of the galaxy, this is what's known as an exoplanet. It's a planet outside our solar system. And this is an entirely new field. This is orbiting a small sun. And so you think there could be more exoplanets like this? I think like there's this. a lot more exoplanets. And, and this was a low-budget mission. It is a low-budget uh, using saddle, uh, telescopes on the ground uh, out of Arizona. And this is very exciting. There'll be a lot more to come. Well, Kevin, I hear it's pretty cold over there in Moscow. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> those 500-degree boiling water might sound pretty tempting to you. <laughs> You're tempting me. You're tempting me, I tell you. Prayer Street, thank Thanks. Good to hear about that story. Real interesting, real eye-opener, isn't it?